Hey, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to jump into a game right away here and this video is about top tips to get top kills. That's right. We're going to try to show you some of the tricks we use to get the most kills in a game. Um, we're going to jump right in here. I have my Marconi. The Marconi is a long range sniper. And one of the first things I like to do is get myself a nice little vantage point up here. Just a little peekity boo. Oh, hey there, little fella. Why don't you have a couple zaps? There you go. And also keep an eye out, guys. A lot of times uh, these, these uh, dinos are hard to turn. So that's one of the things you want to do is if you see someone heading around a rock, uh, chances are they are going to keep heading around the rock because these things don't turn on a dime. Especially I find the really big lumbering dinosaurs, they really, really have these wide turns. And so you can kind of aim and get them all, you know, get them right in your line of sights before you can, uh, you, before you, before you get a chance to take them down. So that's one thing I do right off the bat is look for a nice perch somewhere where people aren't going to get you. And uh, now I'm in with my reaver with my double shotguns here and I'm chasing this guy. Oh, nip, nip, nip. Got him by the tail. There we go. Um, he's a guy, look, I've suffered a bit of damage here um, be, in taking that guy down. So that's one thing you got to be aware of when you're um, playing one of these little tiny up close brawlers is that um, their job mainly is not mostly to kill people. It's mostly to help get those towers. But you know when you get a, an opportunity like this to just reach out and, and, and get a guy who's just sitting there, always take it. So that'd be another tip I have um, from old Pappy to you is uh, these little dinos are really um, predators of opportunity. You know, very much like probably they were back in the actual Jurassic or Triassic or whenever they had Mesozoic, whenever they existed. But, um, you know, they're not really meant to do what they're doing here, which is I'm just kind of dancing with the devil here. And I, oh, yikes. And the old Grim Reaper takes me down. He probably had about 10,000 pounds on me, I'd say. Uh, talk about featherweight versus heavyweight, that's for sure. But that's a, a good example of, of you know, uh, get in there, do a, do as much damage as you can, get a few towers with that Reaver. And uh, now I'm going to come back with my Marconi again. I'm really in love with it, actually. I really love sniping people. And here I'm going to try to, again, use my scope ability. And here's that tip. Just always try to, to, try to get the guys square up to them. That's another thing. One of the things you'll notice in this game is that if you turn kind of sideways, Basically, at a certain point, um, your two weapons will stop hitting your target and only one weapon will hit the target. Uh, that's not good. So you really want to get squared up here and aim for those circles. That's, um, you know, I, I, well, Pappy's a broken record, but I did a video called Aim for the Head. Um, the, uh, the head is one of the soft spots on these dinos. There's also a few other places, the tail and, and under their belly and stuff like that, where if you can hit them really, really hard, you can actually cause those little circles to appear and that basically is means that you're doing significant damage so you gotta hone right in and and really aim at those areas there and so here's what I'm doing I'm up on my little perch here and I'm just using my ability to snipe that guy's got a bit of armor on yeah look at that that's a uh, scorcher I think and he has the new armor that just came out the other day now these little guys you see that guy there he's oh geez oh, yeah, yeah, get away get away he's coming turn around Show him my backside, shoot him a couple times. There we go. Ooh, that was close. So a lot of times you gotta be careful. That's another little tip for you if you wanna get top kills is always be aware of the battlefield because that guy was rushing me and whoa, hang on a second. Look at that, it's a Paracelsus. It's the Triceratops with the little, um, that basically the chain, the little, um, the little, I don't know what the hell to describe them, the little blades. They have little blades on, um, that's, that fly out at you. They're, it's actually an insane dinosaur, uh, but it's an up, um, up close extreme brawler. So that's one thing that, um, you know, I can feel confident about is even though it's cool to see a Paracelsus on the battlefield, I know that as a sniper up on my little perchity perch there, he's not going to be able to get me because he only has 15 meter range or something crazy with his weapons, whereas I can shoot, I think it's something like, well, more than 100, 100 and some meters across the battlefield, basically from one end to the other. So I wasn't too worried about that guy. Oh, there's Mr. Scorcher with his brand new armor. Sorry, bud. I'm going to give you a couple shots in the butt there just because just that's the way she is. And uh, see who else I can hit. Oh, here comes another one. Uh, oh, maybe I'll get here. Okay, perfect. Here's another little tip for you. So one of the nice things with a sniper as well is that you can actually use it to take down enemy towers, which is really cool, right? You don't always have to get right up in front of the towers to destroy them. You can snipe them from distance. And why do you want to do that, you said, Pappy? Well, 
The reason why you want to do that is because whoever controls the towers, controls the game, um, you want to be able to, number one, you can you can sort of beacon somebody out by, by capturing all the towers. Eventually the timer will run out and you'll win. I mean, that's one reason. But another reason is that you can spawn in at the towers. And so a lot of this game really is about biting and holding battlefield territory. You want to push forward and hold and consolidate what you got push forward some more, consolidate, until eventually you get the enemy pinned right into their spawn. And after that, it just becomes a killing field, right? It's like everybody's firing at, at, at the poor little buggers as soon as they run out of their safe zone. <laughs> We're all just waiting to chomp on them, basically. I mean, that's the way it is. So anyway, let me get back up here with my old Marconi Loney here and uh, see if I can take this guy down. There's a the little circle I was telling you about. So yeah, yeah, I'm getting them. I get, there you go, bingo, double kill. What about this uh, Primark? Can I get the Primark now? I'm putting some, putting some major damage on him. Yeah, you know, he's, he's kind of peeking out of there. Okay, I got my zoom again. Is he going to come around the corner? Yeah, got him. Oh, a little bit. Oh, there we got him. And there's my little buddy Grim Reaper. Now, he got me a couple times. I'm actually kind of surprised that he hasn't come up after me here. It's really kind of funny because that's really the bane um, of these snipers, right, is those little reavers, and particularly also, oh man, who else you need to look out for? Well, locust is a good one. You have to look out for locust because they can shoot you from the other side of the map. That's a, a medium-sized dino that can shoot these uh, uh, green heat-seeking missiles that do a lot of damage, um, but also um, lots of uh, small reaver-style, velociraptor-style dinos um, are really buggers because they can run right up on you so fast, and next thing you know, they're nipping at your heels and bringing you down before you even get a chance to run away. So that's another thing. Keep your eyes peeled. You know, it's, it's all well and dandy to kind of be able to stand there and just, um, you know, just snipe guys like I'm doing here. But if you're not aware of that battlefield, if you're not aware of the threats and dangers, then you're in big trouble. Now, one of the things, taking a step back here, one of the things about the gameplay that I'm doing right now is that it really is kind of passive, isn't it? Like, I'm not really out there pushing forward. I'm not really out there getting towers. And I'm leaving that a lot up to my teammates. And that's not normally how I would play. And so one of the things when I got this little perjury do here up where I'm standing, I kind of actually secretly didn't expect to last this long, to be honest with you. I th actually thought that maybe somebody would come and, and kill me before now so I could get out there with my big dinos and really cause some havoc and, and capture, those, um, capture those towers. But, you know, I'm kind of keeping half an eye on the tower map up there to the right and you can see now that you know we actually have this game well in hand and we're up three beacons to two or three towers to two um, if you look at the damage we've done we're around 98,000 or something like that the enemy's only around 70,000 so it's really kind of it will be a miracle for us not to win this game um, so I'm not too super worried about it now obviously that Grim Reaper just got me there a little bugger so who can I bring in here just to end game it yeah why don't I bring in the big boy so I'm gonna bring in my scorcher and Oh, well, there you go. Didn't even need it. There you go. And look at this. How did I do? Top kills. I got number, I got nine kills and came second overall, but I got the top kills and top damage. Look at that. Nine kills, four. I, I died four times and I got 11 helpers. So anyway, hopefully those tips are going to help you get some top kills yourself. If, as always, drop me a line in the comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, please hit the subscribe and the like. I really appreciate all the support. Until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.